Hi everyone, it's Matt here from Therapy Gyms. This is your Different Strokes Level 1 exercise session today. This exercise session is suitable for those of you who do not have use of your affected side. Uh, do take a moment to read through the notes and description that come with this exercise workout and please do have your carers or assistants there available to support you with the movements for your affected side. So today we're going to do a flexibility and range of movement exercise session. So it's quite low pace and low tempo, but we're really focusing on reaching our arms, um, obviously using your non-affected side to support your affected side or the people who are there to support you with, those, uh, with your leg and arm to do the movements will be great. So no real warm up needed. We'll just go straight into the movements. So the first one we're going to do Try and sit up nice and tall, okay? And what we're going to do is raise both arms out in front of you. So use your non-affected hand and hold your hand or wrist in your affected side, looking forwards. And we're just going to push and reach both arms away. So we're doing each exercise today for two sets and we're going to hold it for 30 seconds, okay? So you're just reaching out as far as you can. If you do need support with that movement, just a hand underneath the elbow would probably be sufficient enough from those of you caring, supporting, that would be great. Thank you very much. So just keep reaching that arm out there. Five, four, three, two, one. And then bring the hands back down. We'll have a short rest before completing a second set of the same exercise. So three, two, one, and reach out again. So both arms together, nice big reach. That's good, just keep pushing away from you as much as you can. 15 more seconds. Three, two, one, and then bring those arms back in. Gently relaxing again. So very good, well done. Just take a short rest, and then what we're going to do is just work with your non-affected side to do a range of motion exercise for two sets. So that's the theme we'll work on today. Okay, so we're doing the same side for two, and then just the single side for an exercise. So what we're going to do, again, just reaching out in front, but this time as you're reaching forwards, feel free to lean in a bit more, maybe rotate as if you're trying to reach as far forwards as you can. And hold that position there, very good. So keep stretching that arm forwards, reaching out in front. Don't lean too far forwards, just a little rotation of the shoulder is fine. That's good. Keep reaching that non-affected arm out. And five, four, three, two, one. Come back to relax again. Very good. Well done. So we're going to do a second set of that exercise. Just adjust this a bit so you can get more clearer image. There we go. Okay, so 10 seconds time. We'll do the same again. So your non-affected arm, we're just going to push and reach forwards out in front and even gently twist and rotate in just to get that additional bit of range reaching out in front. Good, keep pushing the hand forwards. And 10 more seconds. And then coming back, gently relax again. Very good, well done. So we're going to do three movements with our upper body and that's one complete already. Okay, so the next movement we're going to do will be reaching upwards. So again, we're going to take both hands together. So your non-affected hand holding the hand or wrist of your affected side. And we're just going to lift and reach up as high as we can. Okay, again, those supporting just a hand under the elbow to encourage 
the range of motion on and mobility on that flexor side would be great. So let's go, raise up towards your chin or your eyes. If you've got more range than that, feel free to raise up as high as you can. So just raising both arms together, holding it there. Really working those muscles through a good stretch. And reaching up all the time, keep lifting and pulling the arm up. And then gently release and relax down. Well done. And we're going to take a second set in five seconds time. So same again, raise both arms up. Let's go, raise up nice and high, big stretch. Holding it there. And then gently relax down again. Very good. Well done, everybody. So just like we did with the first exercise, we're going to work the non-affected side only. And we're going to raise that arm up above the head. Big stretch as far as you can. And even we're going to rotate again slightly just to get a bit more stretch and range of motion. I'll show you how that's done. So we're going to reach up and you can just gently twist to reach up a bit higher. So tilt one shoulder down. Okay, let's go then. So lift that arm up nice and high and gently tilt, so rest in shoulder. Good, hold that there. Keep pushing the arm up. So we're reaching up all the time, working on your range, well done. And relax there, very good, well done. So we do a second set of that. And just carrying on. Same movement, reaching on up. So 10 more seconds time and we'll do that for the last time. Where you go then, so Push the arm up, reach it up, and keep pushing. Ten more seconds, well done. Keep pushing that hand up and reaching. And then relax and rest the arm again. Very good, very well done. And we're going to do one more arm exercise before moving on to some lower body. Okay. So what we're going to do on the next one, we're going to have both hands together again, and we're just going to be gently rotating or bending, okay? So we're going to go to one side for the first set and then to the other side for the next set. Okay, so hold one hand to the other again. Try and bring the hand up towards your chest. And we're just going to gently tilt to the side. Those supporting, if you can just gently stand to the side, making sure we are safe. I'm not going to tip to the side. Loss of balance or stability. Good, hold that position there then. So good range of motion this. Good exercise. Working through the waist. Although we've got our hands up, I'll show you the functional movement for this one in a moment where it would really help. Good, and then pause there. So where this one will really help you benefit is where you have one hand to the side, which we'll do in a moment, and reaching down as if you're going to pick something up off the floor and then back up again. Okay, so we're going to do the same on the other side now. Ten seconds more. And then we'll carry that on. So again, grab the wrist, hold the hands up nice and high, 
support to the side, please, just to make sure we're safe. And where we go, just gently tip to the side, hold it there. So working through stretching out the side of our body, trying to get some lengthening in there, working your range of movement. And coming up right again. Very good, well done. So let's take a short rest and then we're going to go onto our single arm. So on the single side coming down on the same side, so your non-affected arm coming down the non-affected hip side, we're just going to lead over to the side and reach towards the floor. Okay, you don't have to reach to the floor if you can't, that's fine, just reach as far over as you can. So do that for the first set. Second set, we'll go across the body. Okay, so three, two, one. Where you go, bend to the side and reach. Hold that position. Five, four, three, two, one. Coming up right again. Really good, well done everybody. So this time, same non-affected side, we're going to reach down across our affected side, just gently down across to the side, as if you were leaning down to pick something up on that side across the body. So five, four, Three, two, one, way you go. Lean down and across again. Those carriers, assistants, please just stand to the side to make sure we don't tip. Three, two, and one. Coming back up right again. That's great, well done everyone. Fantastic, just take a minute rest and uh, grab a drink. Okay. Good, so just keep resting there for a moment. We're going to go to the legs. Okay. So again, we'll do movements with both legs together and then a single leg. And those carers, people supporting you, please help with the affected leg. Certainly need help with um, the mobility and flexibility exercises we're doing throughout this. Okay. So first one, you two options then. So you can either tuck one leg under the other much like we did in the last session, if you were there for that, for the, um, the resistance for the lifting and lowering. This time we're just going to keep the legs up. Or you can have them side by side if our assistants are gently raising the heels up for us. So we're going to do that. I'm going to hold that for 30 seconds. Let's start in 10 seconds time. Okay, three. Two and one, where we go then, so raise those legs up, hold it there. Or oh, it's one under the other if you're doing it independently. So your back can be into your chair for this one rather than sitting up tall. If you sit up tall, you may feel a bit more of a stretch, but do whatever's comfortable. Slowly lower your heels down. Very good, so let's take a rest and then we'll do that again for a second set. Okay, in 10 seconds time, we'll do that for a second go. Four, 
three, two, one. Let's go, raise those legs. Three, two, one. Relax down. Very good. Well done. So we're going on to single leg this time. With the legs, we're going to do a single exercise, one each side, rather than just staying on our non-affected side. But what we'd like to do is start with the non-affected, raise the leg out in front with the heel on the floor, toe pointing up. And we're going to put one hand on the knee and we're just going to reach down. So lean forwards and reach down towards the ankle. We're going to hold that for 30 seconds, okay? So three, two, one, let's go lean down and reach and hold it there. Last few seconds, three, two, one, and come on up, bringing the knee in, well done. With the affected side, if we can have that out in front of us, please. For those assisting, just help raise the leg forwards, or independently, you could kick the leg forwards and place it down on the floor. And we're again with our non-affected hand, it's coming across this time onto the knee. And what we're going to do, exactly the same, we're going to lean down, reach, and stretch that muscle for 30 seconds. So a good bit of flexibility and range of movement through the back. Let's go, lean down, hold it there. Five more seconds, four, three, two, one, and up you come, bring the knee back in. Okay, very good, well done. So this exercise, with both legs together, we're going to have one leg out to the side and the other one out to the other, so you can either lift it out or have our assistants help us do that. So we've got our knees pointing out away from the body. Okay, and what we're going to do, we're going to stretch, first of all, by holding your wrist again and lowering both arms down in between your legs. Okay, so that's the first one we'll do. Reach down towards the floor, so leaning forwards. And hold that position there, well done. Okay, slowly come on up. Well done, we're going to repeat that for a second set after a short rest. Well done everyone. And five, four, three, two, one, again reaching down. Okay, slowly coming on up again. Fantastic, well done, good work everybody. We've gone to our single leg stuff again, still keeping our knees towards that outward angle. What we're going to do with our non-affected hand is place the hand on your knee, start on the uh, non-affected side as well, and we're just going to gently push the knee out to stretch our inside 
leg muscles. Okay, so let's give that a go first of all. Gently push the knee out and hold that there. Again, 30 seconds and then we'll repeat on the other side. Good, relax, let the knee come in again. Well done, and then again, non-affected sides. We're going to put it onto the knee, the affected leg, and push it out. So lean over a bit if you need to add a bit more force in there, just to stretch the inside leg again. Okay, so we'll start that in 10 seconds time. Okay, where we go then? So just gently push that leg out. In three, two. One, and then bring the leg in. Okay, fantastic, very good everybody. Well done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to combine some rotation exercises, which will include legs and arms. So the first one will be uh, with the arms. So what we're going to do is take both hands together again. And what we're going to do is we're going to reach our affected arm over to the side. So you can twist and reach as far over as you can, and then push it the other way. So these ones are movement exercises rather than staying still. And um, we're going to do two sets of 30 seconds on each of these ones. Okay, so the first one, where you go then, so twist, reach the arm, and to the other side, twist and reach. Support from our assistants if required. Good, relax there, all well done. That's our first set done. So we're going to do that again for a second set. And just keep resting, just over 10 more seconds or so. It's good just to get a little bit of rest in, just let those muscles calm and restore to their uh, original length before we stretch them again. So here we go, let's go twist and reach. Twist and reach, keep it going. And pause there, very good. Okay, relax again, everyone. Okay, so our next exercise, we're going to take both hands again down towards alternate legs. So again, a movement one, working our core and working our range. So we're gonna reach as far forward as we can. The target is towards the end of our toes, but obviously work within your, um, your movement ability, see what you can do. This is what it looks like. We're gonna reach the hand over the knee down towards the leg and do the same to the other side. So we're just gonna keep going across side to side for 30 seconds in three, two, and one. Let's go. Okay, well done, stop and pause there. Take a short rest and we'll do that again for our second set. 
We'll do one more exercise afterwards. So well done, everybody. Doing really well so far today. Bit of a different session, as I said, really good work in your flexibility, range of movement, some exercises that we generally don't get to do, but you can do these any time of the day, morning or night, during the day. So very low tempo. And you don't have to do them all at once either. So you could just do a couple or a few at a time. It's all beneficial. Ready to go again. So stretch and reach. 30 seconds alternate sides. Good, and relax there. Fantastic, well done everyone. So we'll do one more exercise. And what we'll do for this one, we'll go all the way down towards the floor, and then all the way up. So work in your full range. For the first set, we'll do that. The second set, we'll add in something extra as well, just to uh, finish big. <laughs> so we'll start with that one then, reaching down, reaching up. Away you go, all the way down as far as you can, and then all the way up as high as you can. So you may be able to do that one independently, otherwise if our assistants can just gently support, especially with the uh, tipping forwards motion like this, make sure we don't tip too far, and then raising the arm as we come here. Keep going for 10 more seconds, well done. And pause there, good, good, well done. Take our last 30 seconds of rest before our last one. What we're going to do is the same movement. So we're going down and then up. But as we're up, what I'd like you to do is rotate to one side. So you're up and twist. Yeah, and then we're gonna come down and then up and twist. So really uh, asking some challenges of our body. See what you can do. So last exercise today. And away you go, lean forwards, and then up and twist. Good, last time, and pause there. So, well done everyone, fantastic. As I said, you can do those exercises anytime that you have time to do so, and you can do them bit by bit. You don't have to do the whole half an hour routine. So we can break it up into the uh, upper and lower body, or even those full body ones, but add it in whenever you can. It'll really be beneficial to you. I look forward to seeing you next time for our next session. Thanks, bye.